Hello everyone. Sometimes I receive messages, comments, emails, or whatever. Something like, Kevin, I have tried fasting. I have tried reading the Bible. I have tried doing things of God, but I still have problems with lust or demonic dreams, anger issues, this or that. Okay. I think some people have it in their mind. There is a quick fix. Like, all I have to do is fast two times or read my Bible three times or twiddle my thumbs six times as a joke. And everything should be okay. I think some people think in that manner or similar to it. Like do something a few times and that's it. Like a quick fix mind frame. Let me tell you this, and I may be wrong about this, but I don't believe I am. When it comes down to spiritual stuff, like things concerning God, I don't think there is a quick fix. Please listen to what I am saying. We are in a spiritual war. So do you think demons are going to leave you alone after you fast two or three times? Like what I am saying, now you may experience some peace or whatever, but what I am saying, do you think they will always leave you alone because you fasted five years ago or you prayed eight times in 2009 and demons will never mess with you again do you think in that way listen i don't believe when it comes down to god there is a quick fix Please don't misunderstand me. Other than trying to find like a, a thing so that all demonic attacks will stop, all bad dreams will stop, all problems with other humans will stop, other than trying to find a quick fix for that, Look at obtaining a relationship with Jesus Christ. Huh? Look at obtaining a relationship with Jesus Christ. So, you should fast more than one time. You should pray more than one time. You should read the Bible more than one time. You should do things of God more than one time. Am I saying do it every day? If you can, I think that would be great. But see it as something you have to continually do. Please understand what I am saying. Get, get your mind off of Kevin, after this fast, I should never have any more problems ever. That is not true. Show me a person where they fasted one time and they had no more problems. Look at Jesus. 
when Jesus came in the flesh, I believe he fasted more than one time, right? Maybe. He went, I believe there was a time where he went on a 40-day fast. Did that stop all of his problems? Didn't he pray so much? Did his prayers stop all of his problems? I don't think so. Jesus probably went through worse things than what we will ever go through. See things as, how can I say this? Look at it as a relationship other than let me pray once a year or once every two years and let me be surprised if I still have problems after my fast of three or four days once every three years. We have to continually do things concerning God, continually pray, continually read your Bible and fast and do this or that, continually. Kevin, I'm not really interested in doing all of that. You know, I'd rather go back to my sins and go to hell afterward. Well, that is your choice. Kevin, fasting doesn't work for me. Like, myself, back in the past, depending on how far I am speaking of, I did not pray as much as I do now. I pray way more than how I used to pray at a certain time in the past, if I am saying this correctly. And I can tell you, prayer is extremely effective. I am, sometimes I am amazed by what can be accomplished by prayer. I am amazed. Now, I may not fast a whole lot, but I believe fasting is important as well. Also, let me say this. I read the Bible with another. And I may not understand everything of the Bible, as in, I don't know all of the Bible, but as I read, now there are some things I may have already known, but as I read, like I believe because of the help of the Holy Spirit as well, I believe it helped me understand my life more. Like why some bad things happened or this or that or whatever else like that. In a relationship or maybe a proper relationship, if you want a true not this fake friend stuff, you know, how some people, you talk to someone one time and you call them friend. Maybe not you. I think some people are that way. That is not being a friend. <laughs> if you truly want someone to be a friend, in my opinion, I think you are going to spend time with that person. I believe you are going to, how can I say this, depending, share your heart with that person, right? Okay. Incorporate 
a relationship with Jesus Christ. When you are praying to Jesus Christ, I believe you are building a relationship. When you are fasting, when you are reading the Bible, when you are singing to God, when you are doing things of God, I believe you are obtaining and building a relationship with Jesus Christ. When you try to obey his rules, ask him for help and stuff like that, I believe you are building a relationship with Jesus Christ. So don't see it as like, I am only going to do this for a month until my problems pass, then I am going to stop. I am, you know, I want God to give me a car, so I am going to fast, I am going to pray, but once that car comes in, I am going to stop. No, which is bad to do things in that way, I believe. See it as a continuous relationship where you are not stopping. Can you only talk to your wife or husband for one month and not do it for another year or two? Like, how is that relationship going to work out? Yes, you may stay married, but how are things going to be? Will there be any intimacy, if you understand what I am trying to say? Will there be a close bond? Look now. I believe the more you seek God, as in doing all those things plus more what I have been talking about, I think the closer the bond is going to be. And I believe the closer the bond, the better things are going to be for you. Like myself, I do more in a sense. I used to pray way more than I did do now, maybe two years ago, I forget. But I feel that I am closer to Jesus Christ than I have ever been. Guess what? Things, I have my troubles, I do, but things are much easier for me now than before much easier. My understanding is much better. I'm not perfect, but I am growing. Our aim, I believe, is should be to get closer to Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> I think life is already hard, right? Why make things harder than they are? If I am telling you I have this issue and that issue and blah, 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 why would I add to my load? Like, hey, I am carrying 1,000 pounds. You might as well place another thousand pounds on it, why? You may believe that uh, living for Jesus Christ is restrictive and you are not going to have as much fun and you know, you are not going to be liked and all that mess there. You may believe that. But once you begin living for Jesus Christ properly, I guess I can say, I think you will see there are more incentives, I think, in living for Jesus Christ than living by your own rules. Myself, I am determined. I may not do everything right. I may not say everything right. I may not be <laughs> the best person, but I am determined to always live for Jesus Christ because 
trying to live outside of him, it makes no sense. Like, it is folly, I think. Do you understand what I am trying to say? What you believe is fun, I think some people believe um, you aren't having fun unless you are sinning. So in that sense, what you believe is fun is not really fun because if we reap what we sow, how is doing those bad things fun if bad things, if bad things are coming back to you? Please listen to what I am saying. It's not that I am, you know, I think some people may believe I am a good guy or whatever else. And I have figured that it is wise to try to do things right other than trying to do things in a crooked way. I tried doing things wrongly as a way of life. I tried it, not saying that I don't do every, anything wrong now, but I have tried a lifestyle of doing wrong and it doesn't work for me. Like back in the past, I believe my health was poor. Like I think I had more problems than I do now. Like I think, Yes, I had more money and blah, 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 blah. But my life now, I am more content. I have joy. Sometimes I may cry and be a tad bit depressed and stuff like that. But things are so much better now than before. My understanding is so much better. So much better. How can you... How... Like, why would I even trade that? Like, I get to teach some people and help them and like, things are so much better now. So much better. Even though I still do have problems. And I think as a Christian, you are always going to have problems. Look now. Place Jesus Christ first in your life. Let me stop here. God bless you.